Okay, so today I am on Sloane Street and I am just walking up Sloane Street. I'm gonna go to the Louis Vuitton store on Sloane Street because um, me and my boyfriend are going to Las Vegas soon. So I wanna get some travel bits from Louis Vuitton to like store things in. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go to the one up here on Sloane Street and have a look at some of the stuff to put my like makeup and toiletries in. So yeah. Is that a mess? It's not open. Why is it not open? Quite like the jacket. Okay, let's go. So here is Louis Vuitton store on Sloane Street. We're going to go in here and see what we can get. This is the window. This is the little pouch that I want to get. It's quite cute, right? Some suitcase. Got some perfumes. Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. Look at these chairs, they're super cool. Really expensive though. Yeah, I do like this store more than the Bond Street one. It's much nicer. I like this table, it's really cool. Look at this table as well. I really love this boutique. I don't know why I haven't been in here in so long. It's so nice. I think this is the best boutique in London, to be honest. I don't know if they've recently done it up. It's so cute. I love the decor on here. I like the paint cans. You know? Super cute. This one's too small, I think. You know? But this I like. I don't know why they've only got one. You know? Uh, I think I paid just, uh, I took just like $100. Yeah. And uh, I, I just like. Okay, so we went to Louis Vuitton and I looked at the little Nice BB like makeup pout like box thing. Um, I've looked at them before as well, but the corner was a bit like dented it didn't look straight on the top and it was really bugging me so i was like mm, i can't really get that because it's just going to annoy me the whole time and they only had one of them and they had like the toiletry bag 25 i think it is which i could have got but i feel like i'd rather get them both at the same time um so they said like they have them in westfield um so we could go there and have a look if they're any good there otherwise i'll have to order them online yeah they seem to only have one in the store so that you kind of are stuck with that one or nothing um you can't really pick between them but yeah so the other thing is as well is that i think they're going to have a price increase probably soon so that would be another reason to get it sooner rather than later. Um, so yeah, we might go to Westfield and see if the one that they've got there is any good. But mm, yeah, otherwise I might have to order online, but then that might not be any good either. So yeah. Okay, so we are now on the way to Westfield because the, yeah, they have like, both the makeup bag, like the toiletry bag and the Nice BB makeup bag thing 
in Westfield apparently so we will go there and see if the ones they have there are any good it was actually there like at the weekend and they didn't have the little toiletry bag so I didn't get it then but yeah hopefully this one will be better otherwise I'll just order it online they really give you the runaround because they only ever have like one of these things in the store um, so you kind of just stuck with that or nothing um, I think that's deliberate to be honest you know. uh, so yeah we'll go to Westfield and see if they have it and if it's any good um, but yeah now in Westfield at the little, I don't know what this is called, the village. And then the Louis Vuitton store is down here. Around the corner. So we're going to have a look in this one now. See if they've got the little makeup bag and the niece BB and see if it's any good. So yeah, let's go in here. Bubblegram, I think it's called. There's another one up there as well. Okay, so it's a few days later now and I actually ordered these um, pieces online because they didn't have like good ones in either of the stores that I went to. The ones in Westfield were also no good. Like I didn't actually show it on the video, um, but the Nice BB that I looked at in Westfield was like all dented at the front of it and it just looked really, really bad. So I didn't want to get that and I wanted to buy them both at the same time. So I actually placed an order on the website for both of these items like luckily they have them in stock they've had them in stock for quite a while but i was a little bit conscious of ordering from the website because i've kind of heard horror stories about people ordering things from the website and then the quality isn't good and then they have to order them like loads of times to get ones that the quality is good on so um yeah but i did order them on, on the website and I've actually already opened them just to make sure that the quality is good and that I'm happy with them. Otherwise, I was just going to say, just forget this video and forget the um, makeup pouches because I just can't be bothered with it. Um, but I did check them and they are both good. So I am going to do an unboxing of them both right now. So. Yes, um, so this is how they came. I, even though I ordered them online, they came with the bags and um, everything, just how they would come like in the store. Cause I think they've changed their like delivery service now. So um, yeah, they come in the boxes like this. So there are two boxes, I'm um, in the bags, I mean like this. So yeah, um, I think, I believe they've changed their delivery service so they do like all of the deliveries themselves. They don't send them out in like boxes anymore. They like courier deliver everything and then they deliver it to you like how it would be from the store. So yeah, I'm not sure. They, this is the, um, the receipt as well. And I've got two different receipts. So yeah, I have already opened these, but I did wrap them back up again just so that they look nice um so let me get them out of the bag so this is this one um i can't remember like what, which one is which now i think this is the toiletry uh the least pb one in here so just put the bags down here so yeah they're quite cute the boxes are like like this. Um, I think this one is the Nice BB, the smaller one, if I'm remembering correctly. So I'll just open that one first. Yeah, I just wrapped them up again just for the video um, because I really wanted to check that they're okay. Otherwise, I just thought, what's the point of doing this video? I just forget it. Um, so, yeah, so yeah, this is the Nice BB. 
So this is the dust bag, how it comes like. So yeah, and I will show you how it is. So yeah, this is the one I got. So yeah, the one that I saw in when I went to Westfield was like this whole section at the front here was like all crushed and everything. It didn't really look very great. Um, so yeah, hang on, let's just move this out of the way so that I can talk about this one. So yeah, the it was all sort of pushed in at the front and I didn't like it. And then the one I saw on Sloan Street, I will insert a picture if I haven't done already, but the corner was like all bashed in on this side. So I really didn't want to get that one because I knew it was going to annoy me. Just looking at it was annoying me. Um, so yeah, but this one, as you can see, is pretty like straight and even. It does kind of dip a little bit in the middle, which is annoying. I would prefer it didn't do that, but it does kind of do that a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'll open it up. But I think because of the, the nature of this being like the coated canvas, it's a soft material. Um, so it's gonna be hard to make like a structured shape like this out of like the soft material. So I do understand, but it obviously isn't the best. But I think this one is good. So yeah, I'm happier with this one. So maybe if you are considering buying these pieces, like maybe it's better to buy them on the website than buy them in the store because like they literally only had one in each store and they were both not great. So um, yeah, I was kind of, yeah, a bit annoyed. Like the, the other one, the other toiletry patch that I'll show you in a minute was fine, kind of in all the places that I looked, but I just wanted to buy them at the same time because I wasn't like, if I couldn't get one of these that I was happy with, I would have just said like, just forget it. Like, whereas, I, I kind of wanted to have both, but I didn't want to have, like if I couldn't get a good one of this, I wasn't going to buy the other thing as well, because I didn't want to have that on its own, because I really wanted to have this. Because yeah, I'm going to have this and I'm going to put it on my, my vanity at home as well, so that it looks really nice when it's like sitting on my vanity. I think it will just look really cute. And then obviously I can travel with it. So yeah, when we go to Vegas, I can take this with me and um, keep all my makeup in it. And I think that'll be really, really good. And yeah, I think it'd be good for traveling in general. Like even if we're in the UK or we go to Paris or something, I can just keep all my makeup in this all the time and it's good. So yeah, they have the other, um, Smaller size, this is the Nice BB. I can't remember what the other ones are called. Nice Mini, maybe? Nice Nano, I don't know. But this one is the sort of large, not the largest size, but the, you know, they do make one, the Nice, which is bigger. This is 890 pounds at the moment. I'll just check the price just to make sure. Um, yeah, it's 890. So um, yeah, it was originally like years ago when it first came out about um, 500 something around that and that's increased and increased and increased and I'm sure they're going to increase it again. So yeah, it's quite a lot like this has increased in price quite a lot in the last few years. So I'll just open it up and show you. This one is actually made in Italy as well. I don't know if you'll be able to see that but uh, yeah, it's made in Italy. So yeah, I was quite happy with this one. Um, I'm glad that I managed to get one that I was happy with because I've actually looked at quite a few of them um, now. I mean, I looked at those two and then I've looked at them buying one before in the past and it was also like all dented and then I gave up on it again that time. So I'm happy that I've got one that I'm actually happy with now and that I can use. And yeah, so that's that one. So let me open up this one. This has just got the toiletry pouch in. Um, so I'll open this one now. So. Yes. So this is how this one came. It's kind of like a bit smaller than the box, but yeah. Um, it's okay. 
So yeah, because it's actually quite cute because these two boxes I can kind of sit on top of each other like this because they're kind of like different sizes so I can like put them in my closet or whatever and it'll look quite cute. So I'm not, I'm not mad that the box is actually different size. So yeah, um, this is the toiletry, what is it called? The toiletry bag 25 and it's 515 pounds. So yeah, this is the dust bag. So yeah, this one was fine, kind of was fine in all of the places. This one didn't seem to have any issues with it. Um, but yeah, I wanted to order them at the same time because if I didn't get the niece BB, I wasn't going to get this either. So yeah, this is how it looks. Um, this one, I believe this one is made in France, actually. Yeah, this one is made in France. I don't know if you'll be able to see that but it's made in France, um, yeah. So yeah, this is just like, a, it's actually a different color on the inside to the niece, which is like this kind of cream color, like similar to the toiletry pouch, which I've got as well. So this is like the cream, and then this is like a brown color, which I kind of don't really get why they decided to do like a different color on the inside. But whatever. Um, so yeah, this one I'm going to use for like my toiletries. So like my, you know, face scrub, my shaving cream, my shampoo and conditioner, um, stuff like that really. Yeah, this will be like my toiletry bag and then this will be like my makeup bag. So... I think that would be cute and then I can keep this on my vanity at home when I'm not traveling with it um, and then I'll just probably put this one away and then when I go traveling I'll use this one um, so yeah it's quite cute and then I've also got the little toiletry I think this is the 19 yeah I think this is the toiletry pouch 19 so you've kind of got like the tri trifecta of like the different sizes so this is like my makeup toiletries and then this is like the makeup that I keep with me in my makeup bag um when I like shove in my handbag and everything like that so yeah I think they're really cute I like the little different sizes um I'm happy that I finally got like ones I'm happy with uh, the leather is really really pale because I guess they've just been like in the box and you can kind of tell between these two um, the different sort of colour because I've had this toiletry pouch uh, for like a year now so you can kind of see how much lighter the niece BB is than the toiletry pouch so yeah I think they're really really cute I'm happy that I finally got ones that I'm happy with it was kind of an ordeal I, I feel like you know it, this is the kind of thing with like luxury shopping that you shouldn't really have to be dealing with like you know, in my opinion, Louis Vuitton should have more than one of these particular items in the store so that you can pick between them. But they kind of don't want to admit that they've got like quality issues with some of the things. And they don't want you to compare the items because then you'll realize that they have quality issues with things. And um, yeah, so it means that you end up running around trying to find a good one and then None of them are any good. So yeah, I had to order them on the website and I guess maybe that because the way that these have been stored, like they're probably all stored in their boxes and stuff like that. And I just feel like in the, in the shop, they get dented, they get touched a lot. Buying things off the display feel, doesn't feel very luxurious either. Anyway, yeah, so it's got this little um, zip pouch as well. The zipper feels a bit cheap. I don't really like the zipper that much, but yeah, I just think that it shouldn't be this much of a faff to get, um, you know, these pieces, but it was, but luckily I've got them now and I'm happy with them. So yeah, maybe if you're struggling to find ones in the store that you're happy with, then maybe order them online if they're available online. So yeah, I mean, I don't know what to say really. Like these luxury houses are kind of 
not that luxurious anymore because you know you have this idea of like going into the store and like buying something that you want to buy and you think why would it not be perfect and then you're sitting there inspecting it and realizing that it's dented on one side and it's no good or like it's completely crumpled at the front um yeah and i just feel like okay anyway um those are my little toiletry pouches makeup bag for me to go traveling with um that was my little ordeal with louis vuitton i managed to get ones that i'm happy with now um but yeah i just feel like for me like louis vuitton uh, doesn't feel like that luxurious really anymore like i don't really like the brand that much um uh but yeah it's it's not my it's not one of my favorite brands really anymore um so yeah but i think it's it is nice for these kind of little bits like this but in general i just feel as though you shouldn't have these kind of issues when you're buying something and like they should have more items available than the one like then one item of each item because it kind of forces you to have to have whatever they've got and like the items sh you shouldn't just be on display you know like if you have something on display you should have something another version in the stock room so that you don't have to buy the one that's on display um, and apparently these items are like some of their most popular items so I don't really know why it well I know why because they want to force you to buy whatever they have so that they can sell whatever stock they have you know they just want to sell through every every item they have um, which means that they're really selling people things that aren't always in the best shape you know or the best quality so anyway yeah so anyway i hope you guys liked this little video and um my little toiletry bags makeup bag um so yeah that's all for this video so i will see you in my next one